What up, y'all? This is Zircon signing into another episode of Gaming Thoughts with Z. This is a little segment I do at the completion of every newer game I play, uh, where I give my personal thoughts and opinions on that very game. Uh, this segment we're going on, The Lost of Crown of the Magister. Now, bear in mind, I am a lover of CRPGs, so take that with a slight grain of salt with how much I might enjoy this game over some other games. But needless to say, I absolutely enjoy this game. Now, as I said, this is a CRPG adventure game uh, made by Tactical Adventures, a small indie dev team. So uh, to go ahead and throw out, uh, get some of the negatives out of the way, there are, this game has been essentially compared to a couple other games. I want to say that it is not as good as those games. Uh, it is not. Uh, that would be Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous and Walter of the Gate 3. Those will be coming out shortly. Uh, at this point in time in the video, uh, Pathfinder will come out in a few months as for Baldur's Gate 3, possibly next year. We're still not quite sure on its full release. But a lot of people have been get, uh, sort of compare, throwing in comparisons between the three games. Now, as for Solasta, go ahead and get the, uh, let's go ahead and get some negatives out of the way. Uh, for starters, now bear in mind, it's, it, this is a small development team, so they're not able to bring all the cinematics or graphics, basically everything up to um, AAA game, uh, AAA game standards. So the graphics, uh, the graphics and cinematics, they're, they're good. They're great. Uh, they're not BG3 level. They, uh, the voice acting is okay. There's definitely some points in times where it's, it's where it's it's a little rough. Um, some of the dialogue, there is definitely some quirky dialogue, some confusing dialogue, well, sort of slightly confusing dialogue, and not so great dialogue. Uh, the storyline itself was very linear. Um, there were definitely a couple twists and turns throughout the game. So, uh, the game, unfortunately, is not exactly an open world so there's that it is as i said very linear very straightforward now as for the good parts of this game this is based off of the uh 5e edition or essentially the 5.1 the srd uh fifth edition srd so it not all the mechan all not everything is in it they did have to come up with a lot of homebrew stuff. In all, in all honesty, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the best thing that has going for it is, in fact, its very mechanics. It is the closest thing so far that I've played to the 5e uh, uh, playset. And uh, those of you who aren't, uh, aren't sure what I'm talking about between 5e, I'm talking about Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition. But the latest edition that has, uh, came out. But, all in all, this was a very enjoyable game. The music was... The music was pretty good itself. I played... Um, I think I, rough, I roughly estimated around 50 hours in-game. Uh, out of game, I, I roughly made it about 64 hours. Or, no, 54, about 54 hours total. Uh, there were definitely a couple times where I had to uh, reload and did that did add in a couple uh, extra hours. But, all in all, pretty short game. Very enjoyable. I would definitely recommend it to uh, CRPG lovers out there. Um, those of you, I will, I will uh, suggest, though, that if you are new... If you, if you have not played any form of uh, Dungeons & Dragons uh, as of late, it is going to be a little bit confusing, so I would definitely look it up a little bit before you got in, because it is very big, and they are heavy set on the rules themselves. Uh, definitely a lot of stuff that a lot of DMs themselves would actually sort of skip out if you have played D&D. It is very stickler on most of the rules. Other than that, an absolute blast. And I hope you guys enjoy it. This has been Zircon, uh, Gaming Thoughts with Z. Hope you enjoyed, guys, and uh, see y'all next time. Zircon, signing out. Bye, y'all.